Welcome to another episode of Dad's Rolls with Kevin Belzer and we are in the road trip edition as we make a trek from Arizona to Iowa or as my grandfather, Grandpa Lefever, used to pronounce it, Iowa. Yeah, and my know, grandma maybe, did too, I don't know. Maybe why. they're right. Maybe it got <laughs> switched over time and it's actually <laughs> Iowa. I don't know, my long living grandmother pronounced it that way. I don't know. I maybe don't know when why. we're in Iowa we'll actually look it up. Maybe somebody will know. I don't know. I don't know why you wouldn't know. That's a topic for tomorrow. Yeah. So we are playing car games as we travel these 24 hours one way and 24 hours back. Because you know what? When you're on a road trip, you need to kill some time. So what game are we playing next? Um, it's just kind of like a discussion of what if. Okay. So. Throw one at me. What if you woke up one day and could only speak in song lyrics? See, I think that that would be pretty awesome. <laughs> I be like, think that would be lovely to only speak in song lyrics, or I guess not necessarily singing, but we could only speak in like actual lyrics. But here's a question. Oh, I... yeah. It doesn't mean that you're singing it. It just means you would be using song lyrics to have conversation. So you'd be saying something and I'd be like, Listen to your heart. I'm just a small town girl. <laughs> that would yeah. actually be hilarious. You'd have to be very purposeful in the way you speak. That actually could be very interesting. Where did you come now, you just... Cotton Eye Joe? Where did you come from? Where did you go? Where did you come from, Cotton Eye Joe? That's funny. We, yeah. we should try that sometime in a random situation. I know it's going to take some, that would take some That would effort. actually be. Just do it and yeah. not tell anybody we're doing it. That'd actually be pretty, pretty tough. I could see singing your way. No, but we don't need to sing. It would be more sly if we don't. If we're just, and if we'd have to just say like one line at a time. So it isn't necessarily caught, but you and I know we're doing it. And somebody would eventually catch on if they were paying attention. Yeah. Well, I mean, I think it'd be cool if you're somebody that can actually remember song lyrics, but if it's um, someone like me that thinks it's a hundred men on um, Mars. Yeah. And it, it takes. That's what I'm saying. It would be. It would take some real effort. To have we that fought the rains down in Africa. Bless and bless them. Yeah. He fought them. Yeah. And there were Martians. So yeah, it it's fine. It would be actually really cool. Uh, or it could be really confusing if I'm always answering with the wrong song lyrics. Well, but you wouldn't because you're trying to have the conversation to convey what you would say in actual words. You're having to seek your brain for the lyrics that would apply. Boy. Because I haven't listened to that much, I actually haven't listened to that much music lately, so sometimes it fades in the brain a little bit. Yeah, I mean, if somebody asks you a philosophical question, you're like, you know, sometimes you're better off dead. There's a gun in your hand, yeah. it's playing your head. Or just, you think you're mad, you're better off dead. No, but see, Eating I wouldn't. Chairs, but no, 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 no. Town. But you don't go on like that. You say the one line. Sometimes you're better off dead. No, it's not Listen saying that. Listen to your heart. It's, you no, but that's what I would do. But no, but that, but that's what I would do. You're gonna uh, break it up because you're trying uh, to convey different things. I know you're pretty. You, you put a lot of thought into this. In the I three have, minutes we've been on this see, topic, you're like, you're like, I'm very passionate about this, about how it should be done. Just a small talk girl. But not Jesse's girl. <laughs> okay. I live in a pink house. <laughs> the love shack. Yeah. 25 or 6 to 4. Um, you know, I looked up what that actually meant. Because it actually does We did mean look something. it up and I don't remember what it was. Alright, All right. see if Hold you on. have cell service. Hold, please, as we look up song please lyrics hold. for Chicago. Because, you know, we just use it to just sing along and really not take too much in-depth thought you to know, what the, the lyrics or, mean. The original version of that song is fine, but I really liked the updated version. I think it was on Chicago 19. Uh, I think you're correct. Yeah, they also redid it into a much funkier version, yeah, no, which it, I love. Well, Chicago 19 is the, the updated version oh, okay. of not the one on the early Chicago albums. I think it was Chicago 19 that the updated one was on. It's about the experience of trying to write a song in the middle of the night. The song's title refers to the time at which it was written. 
25 or 26 minutes before 4 a.m. Some people have speculated that the song's title may be a code for the quantity of a drug or the name of a famous person. Yeah, I don't get, I don't buy that. They, they, it's not... Whatever. I don't want to make it the bad thing. I'm just going to say it's the good thing. We're not making it the bad thing. Okay. So there's that. All right. Next one. What if animals could talk? Which one do you think would be the most rude? Yeah. Now, I... I actually, because I printed this, I saw this question, I was thinking about it, and a lot of people are going to say a cat would be the most rude, uh -uh. but are they just going to be the most honest? I think that's probably more, but I don't, I think there are probably way more options for rudeness. So who do you think would be the most rude animal out there? Um, I think a great white would be pretty rude. Great white shark. I'm thinking of the aggressive animals. They'd probably be the most rude. I don't think that. Well, they wouldn't necessarily be rude. I think they would just be cunning. Yeah, I guess there's a difference. Um, I don't hyenas. Know. I hyenas feel like could a be hyena rude. Coyote, be, coyotes are wily. I feel like an emu would be rude. Really? Or an alpaca. Oh yeah. The I on the like on the Liberty rude. the Liberty commercial with the emus. Um, they said the one is really mean and oh, rude. I see. I feel like that's what they mean because they just they do mean things. I didn't realize that there's two different. They use two different ones, oh. and the one is like really aggressive. I don't know why they still use that one. I guess it's better on camera with its uh, other actions, and that's why they use it. But they said you got to watch yourself around it. I feel like a cockatiel, cockatoo, shoot, cockatoo. I feel like a cockatoo would be really, really rude too because they're such majestic looking birds and they walk around and they repeat. I think pigeons would be rude. I don't know. They seem too tame to be rude. I don't like know. Like some animals, they just, you know, they're very standoffish. I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. Those are the ones that come to mind. If I probably even I thought, I could probably say, yeah, maybe that animal would be rude too. I don't know. Okay. <clears throat> <clears throat> what if our car suddenly turned into a spaceship? Where would we go first? Ooh. Um, well, I mean, it's close. So, I mean, are they talking off-world or on? Yeah, you because know, it's a spaceship. So you're thinking off-world. It's wherever you think. It just says, where would we go? It's a spaceship. Where would we go? I mean, if it just had the ability of flight, I would go, I could be traveling like all the time. It's a spaceship. I know, but if we're talking about actually, the, the only thing it's going to do is go to space. Uh, well, let's go to the moon first. Okay. I'd like to take a selfie with the flag up there. It, you know, hey, we got to have something for the gram. Uh, yep. So I think that's important. Yep. And then after that, um, Mars. Mars would be next. But the very first thing would be the moon. I think I'd agree. I think I'd agree the moon, then Mars. Yeah. I think I would say the same thing. Yeah. I, I, I think those two make the most sense. Oh, I mean, you got, the, you got the naysayers out there saying we never land on the moon. So I'd like to get a selfie with, the, uh, with that, um, with the American flag up there, mm -hmm. close to the gram. Okay. And they have people say that I photoshopped it, <laughs> and I'd be I'd be part of the uh, part of the uh, um, uh, Illuminati or whatever yeah, yeah, you want to spin it into. Yeah, well, that looks... So you're in agreement, same thing. Yeah, I think I would have said almost the same thing because I, I think I would want to see the moon, and then Mars just seems cool because they're claiming it's habitable. Maybe maybe Pluto. Just to see it. Yeah, it was Because if I get to pick where it goes. It was actually um, discovered out of the uh, planetarium that's up in Flagstaff. That's cool. Yeah. Yeah, that's their claim to fame. And then they took it away from them. Well, they didn't take it away from them, the discovery, but they took it away being a planet. Yeah. And I'm like, I'm like how do you do take backs? I don't know, because I, I finally learned the song with the planets in order from the distance of the sun. I know. And now yeah. You get on, yeah. Did you I get learn on, that in school? Morning. No. Do you know how I learned it? In a song. And and from where you say? Blue's Clues. Because then I was like, 
so then when I'm trying to learn the planets in order, I sing the song in my head. And so I'm it's like Blue's Clues. Is that Blue's Clues? Oh, it's Blue's Clues because you're, you're showing you're showing you're showing your Yeah, Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues. I love Blue's Clues. I want to like watch them awesome. all again. I still am entertained by it. Well, Blue's Clues, like that's what our kids grew up on, is Blue's Clues and Rugrats. That's a two. No, they didn't watch Rugrats. Uh, Zach did. Mm. Yeah, he watched Rugrats. I watched Rugrats when I was a nanny, but he didn't really. They, our kids didn't really watch Rugrats. Well, I Blue's remember Clues? them watching that. Blue's Clues was no, pretty big. It was Blue's Clues. I'd have to go through his stuff. Oh no, it was Blue's Clues and Thomas the Train. Zach, it was not. He loved Thomas the Train. Yeah. I watched Rugrats with when I was a nanny. There are bins and bins of Thomas the Train stuff in our house. Well, I would never give them up. Spend way so much money and they're cool as heck. I think they make a lot of them different now too. A lot of them are metal instead of the wood. I don't like that. And I don't like it either. So okay. we're in agreement on that. That that we should be booing that. All right. So we're. It looks like we're finally going to be hitting traffic stuff here it's coming up. Fun. Yeah. This will be our um, exit from Arizona. Will be traffic because we're going to be merging down to one lane. On that. Uh, yeah, one lane is suck. Oh, I wonder how Dexter's doing. Baby dog. Well, he's supposed to eat two hours and 17 minutes ago. I'm sure he got fed. Hey, look, uh, there's a lot of things you got to do before you leave the leave the house. Yeah. You got to filter the litter boxes for the yeah. people that are watching the pets. Yep. I cleaned his all his bowls. Yeah. His his uh, um, elevated carrier thing. You right. know, to wear for the bowls. Yeah. I cleaned all that out, the swamp water underneath it, all oh, that I, fun stuff. I always have to wash that. Oh, like I gross. do it every few weeks, so it gets done anyway. Oh, it gets done. All the time. Every week anyway. Yeah, <laughs> so, so no big deal. It's often. Well, we got our chores done before we hit the yeah, road at 5.33 this morning. I was so happy. I didn't think I was going to do it. I don't want to come home to problems. I've issues. got a partial chore, but I can do it on the road. Yep, good times. I got the important stuff that had to get done, and then the other half of the one task I can do on the road. I was so relieved to get that caught up. I was like, oh my gosh, it's a lot. We're going to burn the daylight hours recording podcast. Yeah. And it's going super slow on the other side. Yeah. All right, so that's going to be a wrap on this episode of Dad's Rules. If you like the show, like, share, leave feedback, comment, review, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Go to dadsrulesweat.com yep. to get this kick-ass shirt and some of the others we got up on there. I need to start designing some new ones. I'm going to put that on my to-do list. It's time to break out some new styles on that. And okay. until next time, go out and be the kick-ass adult. I know you all can be.